Hello. Yeah, we got him. When do we see the cash? When he's dead. Who's this little bitch? She took a photo of us, boss. We'll make sure to get rid of it. Well, he's handsome. What a waste. I want to have my way with him before we kill him. Anything you say, boss. Show me a good time if you want to live. And make sure it's worth more than the pretty corpse of yours. The hell off me! Wrong choice, boy. Seems we need a little something to liven things up. Oh, it'll make you feel real good. Now, let's see what you can do. Are you okay? Do you have a fever? Who are you? Naomi Clark. Excuse me. It's just Who has a man here? It's room service? It's just mine. You were. <laughs> Naomi Clark, I need someone in my bed. Will you stay? Naomi Clark. Is this a miracle or a joke? Oh my god. What the... How, how could you take advantage of me like that? Take advantage of you? Okay, in all fairness, if anybody was taking advantage of it, it was me. You made the first move. I did, didn't I? Wow, okay. And if I knew you were drunk, I would have said no. He won't hold me responsible for a one night stand, Rocky. One star rating for your technique. Here's your tip. Whoa. <laughs> are, are you hurt? Um, no, I... I just burned my neck with a curling iron this morning. Our guest from Legs in Reception. Go greet him. I can't tell my boss I had wild sex with a stranger because I was so drunk I didn't feel like myself. Mr. Williams will be here shortly. Here's the project proposal. Oh my god, it's him! So the guy is the VIP from Lynx? You mean again, Naomi Clark? Naomi, have you shown Mr. Cooper our proposal? I'm feeling unwell, please excuse me. Oh shit, this is bad. That's Liam Cooper! I'm in big trouble! Watch where you're going. Sorry. Wake up, blockhead. You ran into Miss Taylor. Do you really think an apology will cut it? It was an accident. And nobody who dares to talk back. Let me teach you a lesson. Don't touch her. Who the hell are you? Mr. Cooper, this is Trinity Taylor. Her family owns a large portion of the W Group. Mm. What happened to Mr. Cooper? Is this how your employees behave the W Group? 
keep saying we should fire Naomi. I'm talking about you. Excuse me? I Enough! Trinity, see you at our meeting. I assure you, Mr. Cooper, we normally hold ourselves to higher standards. Well, maybe you should learn how to manage your employees better. Otherwise, I'll consider retracting our deal. Would you mind walking Mr. Cooper to his car? Hey, not even a thank you? This man must be a womanizer. I had it under control. Like last night? Come on, about that. Okay, please, let's forget about last night. I paid you for your time, and now that we're working together, let's keep it professional. Oscar, why not black on check the name of park? As you can see, Miss Clark was born into poverty and never got out. Who are you? Naomi Clark. Is there anything else you need, Mr. Cooper? Tell Henry, Naomi will be acting as the liaison between W Group and Lynx. Yes. Yes. Got it. Thank you. Naomi, you're officially responsible for coordinating our project with Lynx. Oh, um, I'm not up for the task. Mr. Cooper asked for you himself. Do you two know each other? I, um, I'm sure Naomi's incompetency totally seduced Mr. Cooper. I don't even know Mr. Cooper. Duh. A famous billionaire like him wouldn't waste his time. Enough, Trinity. Naomi, please get this contract to Mr. Cooper along with any of the project related documents. Henry, she could be spying for Lynx. You never know. That's ridiculous. What, because she looks like your dead first love? You have no right to pry into my personal business. Naomi isn't Rose. Wake the hell up. Naomi, you're so cunning. I thought you had a thing for Henry, but you already hooked up with Mr. Cooper. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I should report you to HR for saying things like that. Now that you have your new sugar daddy, keep your hands off Henry. Got it? Or I'll ruin you. Anna. Mr. Cooper, Mr. Williams has drafted the terms of your collaboration. It was you. I'm going to leave these papers on the desk. Call me if you have any questions. Wait. So generous with your time. And in other ways. What do you need to put that night behind you? More money? I have plenty of money. Don't even try to ask me to sign some kind of sugar baby contract. I think you've read too many CEO romance novels. You fill in your head. Well, how would you know what those types of novels are about if you haven't read them? Maybe. Nothing. You and Link's CEO? I thought you had a crush on your boss. Voice down. <gasps> what the hell was that for? Naomi, I know you did something shady for Henry to give you that promotion. You won't get away with it. Hold it right there. Apologize to Naomi. Apologize to that skank? Dream on. No one treats my bestie that Come way. Come on, let it go. I know her family's a major shareholder, but someone needs to keep that girl in her place. I can handle it. Besides, first I gotta figure out what she meant about that promotion. You should knock before entering Mr. Williams' office. Unless you don't value your job. 
I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I'll come back later. That won't be necessary. Can't have you looking unkempt. As my new senior assistant. Uh, Mr. Williams, are you promoting me? Of course. You're shrewd and capable and everyone knows. <laughs> She's been here less than a year. I make the decisions around here, Trinity. Henry, I'm only saying this for your own good. The rest of the company won't respect a newbie. Do you have another suggestion? Why not wait until after our collaboration with Lynx? That way, she can prove she's capable to everyone first. Mr. Williams, I, I don't feel ready for a promotion anyways. So we agree. Naomi, run along and get working on that proposal contract. You call this a proposal? Miss Sutherland, this isn't my work. Somebody changed it. Somebody changed it on my laptop too. They set me up. Stop making excuses for your lazy work. Naomi, everybody knows all you think about on the job is hitting on the boss. Miss Taylor, this isn't my proposal. The W Group doesn't need an incompetent employee making excuses. You're fired. No, wait, I, I can fix- Didn't you hear, Miss Taylor? Just pack up your things and leave now. I keep walking into bad behavior here. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, this woman screwed up the proposal for your company. Who caused this? Mr. Cooper, why do you care so much about Naomi? Is something going on between you two? So you hear. Naomi deserved it for blowing such an important document. Where ah. are we? So it was you. Have Mr. Williams fire her immediately, or the collaboration's off the table. Yes, sir. Please, Mr. Cooper, Choose I... one. Resign, or have assault on your record. Mr. Cooper, why are you always defending Naomi? Is she one of your people from Lynx? Ms. Taylor may advise you. Such accusations carry serious consequences. Naomi? Somebody trashed my original proposal, but I'll write a new one. Screw the proposal. I want you, Naomi. Has Liam Cooper fallen in love with me? But I'm a nobody. I'm not a good match for you. Is romance all you think about? I want you to work for Lynx. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cooper, but I have to go fix the proposal. The woman doesn't know what's best for her. Tea, please. Here you go, Mr. Cooper. Too hot. Coffee, please. Oh, I prefer iced. Are you doing this on purpose? Perhaps. How about the iced coffee? Mr. Williams, I suggest finding a new assistant. This one can't do anything correctly. What goes around comes around, Miss Sunderland. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Don't get too comfortable around here. Miss Taylor won't let you get away with it. Join me for the cocktail party this evening, Naomi. Well, I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Cooper. I work for the W Group. Hmm. But you're our business partner, aren't you? I'm not a partner of any kind. Hmm. Well, then I'll need more time to reconsider our cooperation. So. You'll be there, won't you? William Cooper, you snake. Naomi, you turned me down to attend with Liam Cooper. <laughs> I actually can't think of a better situation to show off our business partnership, Mr. Williams. Look, 
Lucky you getting special treatment. No way you slept with Mr. Cooper without a little help. Did you drug me that night? Just a hypnotic aphrodisiac to push you in the right direction. I bet you were disoriented and horny out of your mind. Ring a bell? Ah! How dare you manipulate me like that? Your existence is a mistake. How dare you look exactly like Rose Nolan? Who is Rose Nolan? Of course you don't even know. Trinity, I don't know what your deal is, but the next time you try to target me, I'm going to fight back. It's all about your face, huh? Let's see, stop! Stop this, now. Are you all right, Naomi? Apologize for your behavior. Are you for real, Henry? You don't know, just now she- Fine, Trinity, I forgive, but I don't forget. Bitch! Enough, Trinity! D do all the years we've spent together mean nothing compared to someone who looks like Rose? The next time you cause a scene, there'll be consequences. You okay? Hey, what are you doing a hold of my date, Mr. Williams? Well, she happens to be my employee. Okay, well, tonight she's my date. Do you want to dance, Naomi? You have no right to steal her away. I'm oh, sorry, I... Mr. Cooper, I'm not feeling well. Um, I'll make this up to you, but I have to go. Should we invite Ms. Clark into the car, sir? No, that won't be necessary. Do you know her from before? Yeah, a long time ago, she saved my life. Rose Nolan, she must be someone Mr. Williams cares about. Hey, baby. Hey, come have some fun with me, right? Excuse me. I'm warning you, back off! Why don't you put down that toy and play with mine instead, huh? <laughs> you son of a- I'm sorry. Let's go to the hospital. You need stitches. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take you home. I'm not leaving you alone like this. Then come home with me. Please. Come on. Whatever cut you, it definitely infected the wound. You need to keep this dressing changed daily. Can a small knife like this cause infection? If it's not sterilized, and this hot weather didn't do Mr. Cooper any favors either. Take good care of it and uh, keep that wound clean. Sorry, thank you. Don't trust me, Naomi. What? Um, I can help with your daily needs, just not. How do you expect me to get dressed and undressed with my arm like? If that's all, I'll be going. I may have some other needs, actually. I'll be back tomorrow to change the dress. Ah, careful. Spend the night with me tonight. Please. <sighs>